Now, my dear students, we can take the chapter in crash course that is alcohol, phenol, and ether. My dear students, in this chapter, we can take those questions which are asked in NEET exams. Now, my dear students, question number one is that. This question is asked in NEET 2020 in this year. Question is that reaction between acetone and methyl magnesium chloride followed by hydrolysis will give. My dear students, here you can see the methyl magnesium chloride is the Grignard argent. That's why this you can here write the reaction. First of all, you can write acetone CH3. CO and CS3. GCl methyl magnesium chloride. First of all, you form this complex with this compounds and then hydrolysis. Then you can get these answers. Here, my dear friends, CS3 CO CS3 is you can write here structure formula of CH3COCS3 when this is the negative charge present on this oxygen atom due to the pi electrons are go to the oxygen atom. And here my dear students this methyl magnesium chloride is heated in this way CH3 negative charge plus MgCl positive charge is present. Here this positive charge CH3 negative charge go to the positive charge of this carbon atom and this positive charge go to the attached with this oxygen atom. In this way, you can get this complex and after formation of this complex, my dear students, you can see here CS3C, CS3 and here this is the another CS3, here OMGCL is this is the other compound which is formed. Now, my dear students, Reaction is that question is that followed by hydrolysis means you cannot give this answer. This is the added compound, and this compound when hydrolysis to get here plus H2O to remove this H plus ions from this side, and you can get this OH minus ions with this magnesium ions. In this way, my dear students, you can get the CS3COH, CS3 and CS3. This is called tertiary 1, 2, 3, 4 butyl alcohol. Because here, my dear students, this is tertiary carbon atom. That's why you can say tertiary 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon atoms are present. That's why it is called butyl alcohol. And my dear students, this is the answer. This is tertiary butyl alcohol. This answer for NEET 2020 exam. That's why you can see this reaction plus water followed by hydrolysis. You can get CS3COH, COH, CS3, and CS3. Here another complex is formed that is MgOH and Cl. This is my dear students, other complex is formed. So, here you can see the answer that is tertiary butyl alcohol. My dear students, you always see the basic concept of RMGX. Because this is the RMGX, CS3, MgCl, my dear student, it is the RMGX, Grignard And when Grignard is decomposed in water, then it gives us negative charge, carbon ions and positive charge of magnesium ions. In this way, my dear students, you can get the carbon ion from this compound. This carbon ion or CS3 minus ions attached with this positive carbon of this cation part of the acetone and uh, negative part is attached with this MgCl. That's why you can get the added compound. When hydrolysis of this compound, you can get the this alcohol and it is called tertiary butyl alcohol. Now, my dear students, we can see second question. Second question is asked, my dear students, it is NEET 2019. Uh, you can see in this question, first of all, this compound reacts with this oxygen and you can get A. 
find out this A compound and after this A then hydrolysis you can get this phenol and acetone. Uh, my dear students what is the react name of this reaction? This reaction name of this reaction is the that is cumin reaction. So, here 90 uh, need 2019 question is asked from this cumin reaction. In this cumin reaction my dear students here you can add this oxygen atom which are come from this air. When this C and H bond this A is formed here my dear students this compound is called cumin C H and here two molecules of CS3 is formed one of this side and one of this side you can write in this way. This compound is called my dear students cumin, so it is called cumin reaction. In this compound cumin when this oxygen atom is added in this compound then this oxygen atom is added between the carbon and hydrogen atoms and you can get my dear students here COOH and here CS3, CS3 is already present in this compound. Now when this compound is hydrolyzed by this water, when this compound is hydrolyzed by, by this water H plus ions, H plus ions is this H plus ions is come from the concerned H2SO4 and this is A compound my dear student this is the A compound and this A compound is called cumin hydroperoxide. When this compound is hydrolyzed by with water then this CS3, CS3, CO part, this part is moved from this molecule and this OH group is attached with this carbon atom. So, you can here form two molecules, number one is the, this is the acetone molecule CS3, CO, CS3 and this acetone here you see in this picture and number second part is this is called phenol my dear student this phenol is also you can get because this OH group attached with this benzene. In this way this is the reaction cumin reaction and in this cumin reaction my dear students this A this question 2019 it is a very simple question find out the A structure of A here you can see the structures this is the structure that is the correct structure and answer is C. So my dear students answer is C and uh, this answer give our correct structure. Now here my dear students we can see the third question. In third questions my dear students need 2019 Odisha paper when vapors of secondary alcohol is passed over heated copper at 573 Kelvin the product formed is. My dear students a very very easy question because you can learn the heating effect of alcohols. You can you can learn the when this primary alcohol, when this primary alcohol is heated at copper 573 Kelvin then you can get the aldehydes. Then you can get aldehyde this is the concept my dear students. When secondary alcohol, when this secondary alcohol is heated 573 Kelvin then you can get the ketones then you can get the ketones and when this tertiary alcohol is heated at 573 Kelvin then you can get the alkenes and this is the basic reactions. Secondary alcohol means question is asked from this reaction secondary alcohol is heated copper 573 Kelvin to give ketones that is why you can get easily that is answer is C you can get ketones. Now my dear students we can go to the fourth questions. My dear students in fourth question you this is the name reaction. What is the name reaction of this compound? My dear students name reaction of this compound is the it is very very known reaction it is called Carbyl this is called Reamer Timon reaction. It is a very very important reaction this is called Reamer Timon reaction, Riemer-Timmons reaction. 
my dear students in riemer timmann reaction you can see here in riemer timmann reaction this phenol is reacts with chloroform and nh and from this is compound is called sodium salt of acetaldehyde what is this compound my dear students it is called sodium salt of acetaldehyde now question is that sodium salt of sodium salt of salicylaldehyde this is called salicylaldehyde sodium salt of salicylaldehyde now my dear students question is that what is the electrophile involved is question from this need 2018 Electrophile involved in this. So, my dear students, you can see the mechanism. When you know the mechanism of this Riemann-Thiemann reaction, then this question is very easy. Here, my dear students, you know the first of all in this mechanism, chloroform CHCl3 reacts with this NaOH to form reacts with NaOH to form NaCl plus water. Plus CCl3 compound and this negative charge present on this CCl3. My dear son, this CCl3 negative further this CCl3 negative further reacts with this NaOH, this Na plus ions, this reacts with this CCl3 to get NaCl. Here, my dear son, when NaCl is formed, positive and negative charge present on this Na plus ions. and you can get from this cl minus ions chloride minus ions from this species and now this oh minus ions are present in the solution now my dear students it means this chloride ions are removed from the ccl3 minus ions to this na plus ions attraction force developed by this na plus ions and this is the mechanism which is occurring this riemer timmann reaction now my dear students when this Cl minus ions are evolved, and you can get here only CCl2, and two electrons are present on this carbon atom. So when this CCl3, it means when this CCl3 remove this chloride ions, remove this chloride ions to form only this CCl2, and my dear students, this CCl2 is called dichlorocarbene. It is called dichlorocarbene. now so this is the answer dichlorocarbin because this dichlorocarbin is attached on this phenol atom when this my dear students next one next is is that when this oh group this dichlorocarbin attached with this hydrogen atom this carbon atom because in this carbon atom electron density is maximum that's why this dichlorocarbin attached on this carbon atom and form here my dear students complex in this complex you can see here this is the h and this h is obtained from this carbon atom so here h and 2 cl is present and uh, when this hydrolyzed by water then you can plus twice noh as it is hydrolyzed by twice noh and you can see this both cl group is replaced by oh group here two cl group is replaced by this oh group and uh, you get this h oh and oh and this is the oh group and now my dear students this water molecule is evolved here you can see the water molecule is evolved oh and uh, this h in this way water molecule is evolved when this water molecule is evolved to get cho and this is the salicylaldehyde but this salicylaldehyde is present in noh when this salicylaldehyde present in noh we can get the sodium salt of salicylaldehyde then my dear students we can get the ona this is the salt of phenol this is the salt of phenol and this is CHO group. In this way, this reaction is complete. And my dear student, this is the Riemann-Thiemann reaction. And this Riemann-Thiemann reaction is the important for your 
need point of view. Now, we can learn in this question Riemann Tiemann reaction and in this Riemann Tiemann reaction my dear students you can here see the dichlorocarbon is the intermediate in this reaction and it is the electrophile intermediate as well as it is a electrophile. Electrophile means it is attacked the electrons and it attacks the electron of this because that it is attack on this that is why it is called electrophile. Now, my dear students, so question number fourth answer is D, you can get the answer D, dichlorocarbon. Now, we can go to the next question that is question number fifth. Compound is C8H10, O is found to react with NO, NAY. Producing my reacting Y with NOH and yield say yellow precipitate. My dear friends, it is called sodium iodate, which characteristic smell A and Y as respectively. Here A and what is the A and what is the Y? A is here compound C8 H10OA com compound. My dear friends, it is the name reaction also. And what is the name reaction of this compound? My dear friends, this is the iodoform reaction. This reaction is called Ido form reaction. And you know very well in this Ido form reaction or it is also form hello form reaction. This Ido form reaction is always occur with iodine plus NOH to form this is NaOI. So, this iodine is a Y reacting with NOH. So, this Y is always present A, B, C and D. Now, my dear friends, concept is that whose, who molecules give this reaction? Which molecule give this reaction? So, my dear friends, concept is that those molecules in which CS3, CO group or, or CS3, CHOH group is present those molecules in which CS3 CO group or this is CS3 CO group present gives gives iodoform iodoform reaction. Here my dear students you can see here this is the CS3 CO group and this is the CS3 CHO group. Here you can see answer is a here answer is a CH2H group is present here. CSCU and CSCH group is not present. That is why this answer is not. Here you can answer is B. It is answer or not. You can find out. Here you can see the both groups are not present in this B compound. That is why this is not a answer of this question. Now we can see here C option CS3CHOH group is present. Here you can see CS3CHOH group when present in the compound then it is gives iodoform reaction and what is the iodoform reaction? In this reaction we get the iodoform yellow precipitate of iodoform and that is CHI3. My dear student this is the iodoform. We can get the precipitate of iodoform, PPT of iodoform and this is the CHI3. Now my dear students that is why answer is your answer is C. In this answer you can get CS3 CHOH group and this group is attached with this benzene or carbon atom. That is why this give us iodoform reaction. Now my dear students next uh, question number fifth you can get the answer C and next question is the question number six. In question number six which one is the most acidic compound? You can find out the acidity of the compound in phenol. Why it is a phenol? Because you can see in all the questions, in all the options here, these are the derivative of this phenol. Here the, this is a phenol, here this is the para nitrophenol because you can get the NO2 group on para position that is why it is called para nitrophenol. Here you can get this numbering of this phenol and numbering of this phenol it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, it is called 2, 4, 6 trinitrophenol. Now, my dear students here 1, 2, 3, 4. It is called 4 methyl, 
4 methylphenol. So, we can see here it is a 4 nitrophenol, here it is a 2, 4, 6 trinitrophenol, here it is a 4 methylphenol. My dear student, which one is the most acidic compound? Here, what is the concept in this question? Because this question is also asked in NEED 2017. Here, now, my dear students, you can get concept electron withdrawing group E electron EWG. Electron withdrawing group, those groups which electron withdrawing, for example, this NO2, yes. This is the electron withdrawing group or this chlorine Cl. Increase the acidity, increase, increases the, increases the acidity, increases the acidity of phenol. And number second one is my dear students here, electron donating group EDG which groups donates the electron. For example, here we can see CS3 or you can see this is the OCS3, OCS3. Here in OCS3, two lone pair electrons are present on oxygen atom. That is why this oxygen atom is also donated the electron. And here this methyl group repels the electrons of bond pair. That is why it is also donated the electrons. Now, my dear students, it gives us plus R effect and here it gives us plus I effect. But both groups are donated the electrons. When donate the electrons, you know, electron donating group is attached with this phenol, then these are decreases, decreases the, decreases the acidity, decreases the acidity of phenol. This is the number one electron withdrawing group and it is the number two electron donating group. Electron withdrawing group increases the acidity of the phenol and electron donating group my dear students should say decrease the acidity of phenol. Here when we see this, these are the compounds. Here number one phenol, number second NO2, NO2 is increase the acidity of phenol because it is donated the electrons. Here 3 NO2 group is present that is why here increases the acidity of the phenol. Here this is repelling the electron that is why it is decreased the acidity of phenol. Here electron is accepting, the electron is withdraw from this benzening. So, it is increase the acidity. Now, we can we can see the order here we can see the order of acidity of phenol. What is the order of acidity of phenol? My dear students, you can see here order of acidity of phenol. This is the order. Number one is C, number second one is the B, number third one is the A and number fourth is the D. This is the order of acidity of phenol in this question. Here C is the most acidic nature. Here D is the least acidic nature. So, if question is asked which one, of one is the most acidic compound, then you can you go to the option C. That is the correct answer. C is the correct answer for this question. Now, my dear students, when we see the question number 7. Here question number 7, we can see in question number 7, reaction of phenol. This is the phenol. You can write first of all reaction, reaction this is the phenol plus chloroform, you can write the chloroform plus dilute sodium hydroxide, you write the here reaction dilute sodium hydroxide. These are the compound finally introduces which one of the following functional group, means when this phenol reacts with chloroform and NOH, what is the product? He say what is the product of this compound? Now, my dear students, it is the Riemer Tiemann reaction, and you know this reaction, Riemer Tiemann reaction. I can explain very well with the mechanism of this reaction, and you know the this 
reaction CHO group is introduced in this part of ortho that is why you can get the salicylaldehyde. This compound is called salicylaldehyde OH and this CHO product is from salicylaldehyde and in this product you can get the this CHO group which is introduced this phenol group. So, you can go the answer C this is the CHO group which is introduced in this compound. Now, my dear students when we go to the question number 8 it is a very very important questions for you and this question is asked in NEET 2015 also. My dear students in this question which one of the following reactions can be used for the preparation of alkyl halides which one of the following reaction number one is the ethanol and SCL and anhydrogen and Cl2. Here my dear students when this SCL plus ZnCl2 this SCL and ZnCl2 which is anhydrase these both are called Lucas reagent. Here this is called Lucas reagent. Here concentrate HCl, concentrate HCl and anhydrogen cell 2 is called Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent gives tertiary alcohol you can see the tertiary alcohol gives white PPT simultaneously within a second. So, this here you can see this reaction this is the tertiary alcohol you can see CHOH means secondary alcohol yes. Secondary alcohol is also give this reaction ok and this is the tertiary alcohol is also give this reaction with anhydrous and cell 2, but here tertiary alcohol reacts only with SCL ok. Yes, tertiary alcohol is can only reaction with SCL, tertiary alcohol not required, tertiary alcohol my dear students not required, not required ZNCL2. Why my dear students? Because tertiary carbocation is more stable, tertiary carbocation is more stable. Here my dear students here this is the when you can break this bond post two charge develop on this carbon atom and when this break bond H plus ions and Cl minus ions and minus H2 is evolved and this carbocation is more stable and this is called tertiary carbocation. Due to the more stable tertiary carbocation Cl minus ion are taste without the presence of anhydrous ZnCl2. So, here ZnCl2 is not required because tertiary carbocation is more stable. So, here third is also fourth and third is also here you can see the one reaction. Here SCL and anhydrous ZnCl2 yes primary alcohol is reacts when this primary alcohol it is called primary alcohol primary alcohol why it is called primary alcohol my dear students because here CH2H group is present and it is the function group of primary alcohol. That is why primary alcohol reacts with this SCL and ZnCl2 and hydrous ZnCl2 then my dear students you can see here this you can get the RCL group white PPT of this RCL, but this some small temperature is required because this reaction is not occur at room temperature. So, when this temperature is required and you can say this is a high temperature and you can get RCL as a white PPT. My dear students when you this primary alcohol is not reacts with only SCL in absence of this ZnCl2 and here you can see this second option SCL is not present. So, we can go the option correct option is that D here D 1 third and fourth only means second is not give this this reaction no reaction. So, you cannot prepare this alkyl halide or alkyl chloride by this reaction. Now, my dear students answer is D for eighth question. Now, we can go the question number ninth. Here you can see the question number ninth my dear students 
in question number 9 which of the following will not be soluble in sodium hydrogen carbonate those salts concept is that concept concept of this question what is the concept of this question my dear students those salts are soluble in sodium hydrogen carbonate which are acidic nature for example is liye for example so carboxylic acid so carboxylic acid concept is that carboxylic acid carboxylic acids or or stronger acid or strong acids reacts with reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate to give to give carbon dioxide to give or evolve evolve carbon dioxide my dear students this is the concept of this question now we can see here strongest acid or carboxylic acid we can see here what is the weaker acid so concept is that weaker acid cannot give give this test that means means not involve not evolve carbon dioxide so my dear students here you can see the carboxylic acids are strong acids reacts with sodium bicarbonate to give evolve carbon dioxide and here second weaker acid cannot give this test means not evolve carbon dioxide now we can this is the concept we can see the answers N will not be soluble means not reacts so you can find out the what is the weaker acids here my dear students you can see this 2 4 6 trinitrophenol here it is a diagram or structure of this is a structure of 2 4 6 trinitrophenol when you can when you can put the structure of 2 4 6 nit phenol you can get that this phenol is monoacidic due to due to this electron withdrawing group three electron withdrawing group are attached by, that's why it is a stronger acid this come in a stronger acid and my dear students it's a stronger acid than acetic acid also this is also a concept this 2 4 6 trinit phenol is a stronger acid than carboxylic acid ch3cwh while this acetic acid give the test of sodium car sodium hydrogen carbonate or nhso3 carboxylic acid or this is also called acetic acid also give this test and here you know that this 2 4 6 trinitrophenol is stronger acid than this acetic acid now when we go the benzoic acid my dear students benzoic acid simply a this is the carboxylic acid benzoic acid and it is a aromatic carboxylic acid now we can see the d option that that is benzene sulfonic acid here when you see the benzene sulfonic acid so3h so3h benzene sulfonic acid is my dear students stronger than this is the benzoic acid so when this benzoic acid give this test means benzene sulfonic acid is also this test so here answer is the only answer is c because it is a weaker acid amongst all a b and d and this is a concept my dear students this is a question number 9th and answer is c here question number 9th and answer is c question number 10th here my dear students in the following sequence of reactions ch3br reacts with kcn to give a a is hydrolysis in presence of h plus ions here you can see convert b and b when allylh4 in ether heated to give c the end product c you can give the answer and this question is asked in need 2012 here my dear students you can see here ch3br when reacts with this kcn 
CSCBR when reacts with this KCN. KCN in solution gave potassium ions and cyanide minus ions. Then this CS3Br is alkylide. It gives us Br minus ions and CS3 plus ions. Here my dear student, this CS3 plus ions reacts with this CN minus ions. That is why when you can see the reaction, this CS3 Br reacts with this KCN to give here to give K plus ion, CN minus ions here, here you can get the C3 plus ion and Br minus ions. Here you can get the KBr plus CS3 CN and my dear friend this is our A part. This A product is the CS3 CN. Now when this CS3 CN hydrolyzed by water H2O in presence of this H plus ions, this cyanide ions here this is the cyanide ion. The cyanide ions hydrolyzed by water to give acid, to give acid. You can get the acetic acid. Means this cyanide ion function group is converted into this carboxylic acid function group. Now my dear students and this ammonia molecule is evolved. This CS3 CWH, this CS3 CWH when reduced by this Li ALH and H4 lithium aluminum hydride in ether, then these two carbon atoms means this CWH group is reduced by this stronger, stronger reducing agent. This is the strongest reducing agent. And by this strongest reducing agent, my dear students, this carbon atom is converted to ethanol and you can get the CS3 CH2H. My dear students, this carboxylic acid is converted to ethanol by the presence of stronger reducing agent. So, here you can see that this is the conversion of one carbon atom to the two carbon atom compound. So, answer here, this is the ethyl alcohol. This compound is called my dear students ethyl alcohol or you can also say this is called ethanol. This is called ethyl alcohol or it is called ethanol. So, in question number 10, you can get the ethanol or ethyl alcohol. So, answer is my dear students that is answer is here yes, answer is D that is ethyl alcohol. Now, my dear students, we can go the question number 11th. This question is asked in my dear students, NEE 2011. Here, my dear students, this is also conversion reactions, and this conversion is a very important with the basic concepts, but it is an easy question, my dear students. Here in this question, you can see the number 1 CS3 CH. CS3, CH2, CS3 when heated with this H plus ions and heat to give A plus V. Here my dear students, A is the major product and B is the minor product. This when this A major product, this is the further react this A major product with HBr dark. In absence of peroxide means peroxide effect is not occurring in this question. Then you can get C major product plus D minor product and you can get the major products of A and C are respectively what are the major products of A and C. Here my dear students, when we this CS3 CH CS3 CHOH and CS3 is heated with H plus ions, then my dear students, here this H plus ions attached with this lone pair of electrons of this oxygen atom and form this CS3, CH, CS3, CH, OH2 positive charge and this CS3. 
my dear students here this o positive charge present on this oxygen atom so this oxygen atom is unstable and this oxygen atom bonds what is bonds want to gain the electrons and which electrons which are present between carbon and oxygen atom so this oxygen atom take the electron of this carbon atom and go into the solution and water molecule is evolved so this compound is positive charge develop on this carbon atom here positive charge develop why positive charge develop in this carbon atom because this electron of this carbon atom get by this oxygen atom due to presence of positive charge so water molecules evolve and carbocation is formed here and you can get the carbocation and what is a carbocation here you can see ch3 here ch3 ch ch3 here this ch3 the ch ch positive charge and ch3 you can get only a one compound here but my dear students after h plus ions heating is occur and due to this heating water molecule is evolved and due to evolve of this water molecule this positive charge is present and this positive charge is present it is a major product or minor product it means two carbocations are formed here one is this and another one is another carbocation is formed what is the another carbocation my dear students another carbocation is formed because in carbocation you can learn this tertiary carbocation is always more stable than secondary carbocation and secondary carbocation is always more stable than primary carbocation my dear students in this way you can see here tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation and secondary carbocation is more stable here primary carbocation so here you can get this this is the secondary carbocation if my dear students if possibility is there a possibility is there to convert this tertiary carbocation then it may be occur it is always occur to convert the secondary to tertiary and we can see here this carbocation tertiary carb formation of tertiary carbocation possibility is there in this way tertiary carbocation is formed by the removal of this hydride ions and this hydride ions go from this carbon atom to this ch plus ions and form the tertiary carbocation and you get CS3, C, CS3 plus charge CH2. This CH plus ions is converted to CH2. Why? Because my dear friend, this H plus ions go, this H plus ions go into the this H plus ions go to the this carbon atom. and you can get the this tertiary carbocation here this tertiary carbocation is formed and this ch plus ions is converted to ch2 now my dear students when we this write this ch2 then ch3 this is our tertiary carbocation so tertiary carbocation is the major product and in this section it is a, a. and this is the b and b is the minor this is the minor and it is the b compound now my dear students when this is our first section and in this first section we can get major and minor compound in my dear students in in this a compound means major compound second reaction start in this major compound reacts with this hbr in dark here cs3 you can write here c plus charge here you can write cs3 and ch2 ch3 
go upper side. We can write this compound in this way and it is a A compound. My dear students, when this A compound reacts with HBr, here you can see the in this HBr in absence of in absence of peroxide, peroxide effect is not occur. Means here you can see the H plus ions is broken down and Br minus ion. This is called bromide ion. My dear students, this bromide ion is attached on this carbon atom. You can see here. When this bromide ion attaches on this carbon atom, why? Because my dear students, this is more stable. That's why this negative positive charge is present on this carbon atom, and negative charge present on this this carbon. So you can get the product, and this product is the major product. This is the CS three C. Br, CH two, CS three, and this is the CS three. My dear student, this is the major product. Here, my dear students, HBr, Br minus ion is attached on this compound. So, you can get this. This is the compound. But here you can see. But here you can see. here this this is the after the heating of this after the after the heating of this you can get the alkene also so this is major product is also obtained and this carbocation it is a stable and it is a stable that's why br minus ion is attached in this compound So here, Br minus ions in attached on this tertiary carbocation. Here you can see the tertiary carbocation Br is attached in option this and option this. Here, so you can go the option B, but you can see here in this option B, here this is the double bond is present. Tertiary carbocation is not shown. Why? Because my dear students, tertiary carbocation which is formed, it is attached by these bromide ions. So here, elimination reactions is also take place, and due to the elimination reaction, this H plus ions, this H plus ions, this H plus ions of this CH two, or this is the H plus ions, when go to the this H plus ions, when go to the solution. Then you can convert the the CS three C CS three double bond these are double bond CH and CS three means this is called elimination reaction because this double bond this formation of this carbocation which is stable it is reacts with this bromide ions to form this major compound. And you can get this is the major product of this C. This is the major product. But you can see this is the major product tertiary carbocation, but it is not present in your answers. Why? Because this tertiary carbocation is attached with this bromide to give this product. Another, this is the H plus ions is removed from this tertiary carbocation and form the the alkenes. And which alkene is more stable? Which alkene is more stable? Which is more substituted? Means in which more alpha hydrogen atoms are present? Here you can see the three plus three six. You can here six and uh, this three means you can say here six alpha hydrogen plus three total nine alpha hydrogen is present in this alkene. When nine alpha hydrogen is present in this alkene, so this alkene is more stable. Now. when you can this is the mechanism of this whole reactions mechanism now we can give the answer in short when you can reacts with this h plus ions in this alcohol 
and then heating effect means water molecules evolve and water is removed then OH and H plus ions are removed that is why H plus ions are removed in this side or in this side. When my dear students H plus ions are removed from this side then you can get the alkene that is CS3, CCS3 double bond, CSCS3 and my dear students in this alkene you can get 9 alpha hydrogen atom. When this H plus ions removed from this side then you can get CH double bond CH2 this side here you can get this is the compound here in this compound CH2 double bond C CS3 and CH2 CS3 you can get only 3 plus 2 5 alpha hydrogen atom. So, this is not answer answer 9 alpha hydrogen atom here you can get with this bromide ion because, because Br group is attached on this tertiary carbocation. So, Br group is attached here and Br group you can see that is attached here. But this is not C is the not answer because you can get only 5 alpha hydrogen atom and here you can get that 9 alpha hydrogen atom. When H plus ions are and heating is there means this H plus ions after carbocation H plus ions are removed and this H plus ions are removed from the this tertiary carbocation and uh, this H plus ions are re removed in this way when more substituted alkenes is present. Here you can say 9 alpha hydrogen atom means more substituted alkene 1 alkyl, 2 alkyl and 3 alkyl. So, you can get more substituted alkyl groups are present. Here my dear students you can say here 1 alkyl and 2 alkyl, 2 alkyl groups are present that is why it is called less substituted alkenes are present. This is not answer because here Br group is attached on primary carbon atom. It is not correct answer. Here this is not a correct answer because here Br group is attached on this secondary carbocation. Here you can attach the Br group. So, this is not answer because here, here the this shifting of hydride ions are take place. Here you can say the shifting of hydride ion and this tertiary carbocation is converted to this secondary carbocation is converted to tertiary carbocation that is why this is also this is not an answer. So, you can get the answer only B in B answer more substituted alk alkyl groups are present or alkene is present as well as you can get the bromide group is attached on tertiary carbocation here. So, this is the answer my dear students this question is asked in 2011.